I'm sure that you have heard of the alpha and beta males at some point in your life. In popular culture, these terms based on the alphabet are used to describe male personality types. An alpha male can be considered the man at the top of the dominance hierarchy, while the beta males are right below him. Generally, an alpha male takes charge, while a beta male follows and serves. Many men do not fit the alpha and beta roles. So that is why there are more alphabet based personality types to consider. Without a doubt, one of the most interesting ones is the Sigma male. The Sigma male is the one who does not identify with a certain place in the hierarchy. Moreover, he uses the hierarchy to his advantage. He loves freedom, independence and solitude over status, money and fame. I would like to propose 5 habits of the Sigma male. Let's dive in. One, he goes left when the majority goes right. A Sigma male is by nature a non-conformist. He does not follow the herd unless he has a good reason. Yes, he can be social and enjoy social gatherings as well. But in the grand scheme of things, he rather goes his own way. The Sigma male recognizes that herd behavior is often the consequence of being led, like sheep by a shepherd. And because he does not like authority, he sees himself unfit for the majority. When he travels, he avoids the big tourist attractions. When he goes for a hike, he prefers uncharted areas. He is rarely susceptible for hypes, trends and mass hysteria. This does not mean that he denounces the world. When he feels like, he blends in. He knows the herd. He knows how to act like one of the herd. And he even knows how to dress, talk and think like the herd. But he is not part of the herd. And that's his secret. 2. He often goes on dates. With himself. For most people life consists of many relationships. These could be relationships with colleagues, with family members, with friends, with classmates and even with a religious community. While a Sigma male might enjoy social interaction, he often longs for some time alone. When he travels home from work, especially on a Friday night, he looks forward to a nice long intermission from the busy noisy world. In solitude he has a million things going on. He might be working on a business, a creative project or perhaps he's reading a book. He might enjoy taking solitary walks in the forest early in the morning or going for a swim. No matter what, he enjoys his own company. 3. He travels alone somewhere far, far away. Going in a group, or at least in a duo, is the norm. But the Sigma male often chooses to travel on his own. The first time I have truly traveled alone was about 5 years ago. It feels fantastic to close the front door of your house with the knowledge that your journey has begun. Equipped with a trolley and a small backpack, you begin your adventure. Away from your job, your hometown and all people you hang around with in your personal habitat. Actually, traveling alone is not just a solitary matter. It could be, but I have experienced that when I travel alone I meet a lot of people. Traveling alone generally makes you more receptive for strangers to approach you. Also, the majority of people cling to each other when entering unknown places. The Sigma male, however, rejects such behavior. He steps out of the safety bubble and faces the world on his own. 4. He adapts. Okay, this may sound a bit contradictory in regards to the first point, but hear me out. A Sigma male is a master chameleon. He gets along with people from all layers of the hierarchy. Like I said, he knows very well how to act like the herd without becoming part of the herd. Bruce Lee said, be like water. And that's exactly what he does. No matter if he resides in the highest of clouds or the lowest and darkest parts of the sewers, the Sigma male finds his way to his goals like a brook finds its way to the pond. In the presence of alpha males, his subtle ways erode their toughness like a river erodes hard rock. His adaptability is his strength. He doesn't fear change but embraces it and realizes that change is the only constant. Therefore, no matter where he goes, he quickly blends in. In the land of the naked, he goes naked. In the land of the suits and ties, he wears a suit and tie. These are just outside things. They don't matter to him. He regards them as a small price to pay to make his life easier and to stay under the radar. The Sigma male prefers an easy, tranquil existence over fame and attention and doesn't want to be that special snowflake. 5. He keeps silent when he doesn't understand. 
Many people have their opinions on things they don't know anything about. They simply want to look smart or dominate the conversation. But the Sigma male only talks when he has something valuable to add to the conversation. And this is only the case if he understands the subject. Moreover, as far as he is concerned, keeping your mouth shut is superior to speaking most of the times. Not only you are giving away valuable information when you are talking all the time, you are not listening either. He who knows does not talk. He who talks does not know. By keeping silent, the Sigma male not only prevents disturbing a conversation with nonsense, he might learn something meaningful. There are exceptions to the rule of course. We all get in a chirping mood sometimes, engaging in nonsense talk that's just for the laughs. I guess then it's fine to talk out of your ass. Let's not take life too seriously, right? Thank you for watching. <laughs>